Hey guys, my name's Greg. I play guitar in Shiloh. This is my rig. I'll start with my guitar. It's a 2000 Rickenbacker 650 Atlantis. Um, I have always been in love with their basses, the 4000 series basses, and uh, I was primarily playing guitar. Um, and when I was, I think I just turned 18, um, I saw this on Craigslist up in Northern Virginia, uh, about an hour and a half where I live. And uh, the guy owned a skate shop up there and he was willing to um, set up like a contract type thing where I was doing like a payment system or payment plan every week uh, and was able to get this at 18 and thought it was gonna be my 40 year old midlife crisis purchase. Um, and I don't plan on getting rid of it ever. I love it. Um, I've played a couple other guitars and uh, it's just not quite the same feel uh, like this one is, this one has. Um, it's all stock, nothing that I've done to it. Um, I just really enjoy the way that it feels in my hands. Uh, I like the way it sounds and it's small. I'm a small person, so I feel like it fits me well. Uh, and it's a beautiful turquoise green, blue color, teal. Um, so all maple and uh, neck through. Yeah, love it. For the longest time, I've been using a uh, Music Man HD130 head, and I sold that, I guess, uh, late last year, and Drew, our bassist, has been letting me borrow this for uh, the remainder, or up till now. Um, and it's a Bogner Goldfinger 90. Um, I'd never really messed with anything like this. I uh, primarily have always wanted just straight clean sound and let my pedals be the different gain stages. Um, but with the new record, we kind of got a little different or wrote some different stuff and it allowed me to open up uh, myself to like different amp tones and, and uh, distortion gain and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I've got this thing uh, EQ'd how I like it. And um, yeah, it's been working really well for what I needed to. Uh, there's a couple different settings on it, clean, uh, sounds very nice. Um, it's got a boost on clean and on the distortion side. Um, and yeah, so it's been working really well for me. Um, running that through a an Atlas 612. Um, this is a company out in Colorado. Um, I bought this secondhand from a, a buddy of mine, um, but it's got two uh, vintage 30s in it and two wear guitar warehouse speakers and then two um, uh, Celestian 80 speakers. I'm happy with it. Uh, I haven't gotten to play with it too, too much uh, in a live setting, but the few times that I have played it, it's it's been wonderful for them using. Um, I've primarily used Emperor in the past, and I uh, saw this and just wanted something a little different. So I've been very happy with it. It's been great. So this is my pedal setup. What I've primarily been using, I think this is probably the longest uh, I've had this board together. Um, I have a tendency to add and change out pedals nonstop, um, but this has kind of been working for me, so I'm just rolling with it. Um, basically starts a little junction box just for quick, uh, easy input. Uh, that's going into my volume pedal, standard Dunlop mini volume pedal, um, into my EP booster, and then into my um, Fuzzerocious Gray Sash. This pedal's kind of cool, um, Fuzz, but it's got a boost and a gate uh, built into it. I think it was an earlier model that uh, he built for um, a buddy of mine that I bought secondhand from him. And uh, it's also got a couple like oscillation tweaky uh, switches that are cool to play with. Um, 
So from the gray stash, it's going into my uh, timeline. And this is my primary delay. Um, I bought one, sold it, regretted it, and then bought another one. Um, and yeah, it just works whenever I need it. And it's uh, just unlimited uh, and sounds great. I really love it. Um, so controlling that, I have this Saturn works switch to bank through presets. After the timeline, uh, I've got my H9. Um, this is just basically a standard H9. Uh, I was gonna go with the Max, but at the time uh, I couldn't afford it. Um, but I've basically maxed this thing out, so prime, I should've just gotten the Max in the first place. But great pedal, love it. Um, I'm using this Saturn Works controller for uh, banking between presets and then activating the tuner. I love the tuner on this thing and it just seems very accurate um, and it's one less pedal that I need on my board so I'm able to quickly bank in and out of that which is very nice. Um, the only thing I don't like about the H9 is uh, when you turn off a preset um, there's no trails to it if you're switching pre uh, switching presets. So I bought a Hall of Fame just to run after this to kind of cover up the uh, trails, tails. Um, so that's what this is for. And then this is for more subtle reverbs. Um, into, from the Hall of Fame, I'm running into my like oscillation noise pedal. Uh, that's just like a $60 cheap uh, analog delay that somebody told me about once and uh, it's been kind of my noise maker. After my garage tone, I'm going into my uh, looper pedal and that's just uh, standard RC3, um, works wonderfully. Using the FS5U for quickly turning it off and on. Um, and lastly, going into my uh, momentary switch and kill switch. And then that's going out uh, from my pedal board. This is the amp uh, foot switch. It's a lot, um, but works nicely for what it is. And yeah, so that's what I'm using there. This is Greg from Shiloh. Thanks for checking out my rig.